Hello everyone, this lesson is about classification of polynomials according to number of terms, and we're going to identify and differentiate the following. Monomial, binomial, trinomial, and multinomial. Let us start by defining what is a polynomial. A polynomial is an algebraic expression that contains a single or multiple terms with positive whole number exponents on the variables. So, let us start with monomial. Mono means one. It is an expression that contains a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. Say we have 15. 15 is a number. Or a constant, which means to say all numbers and constants are considered as monomial. Next, say we have 2a. 2 is a number and a is a variable. So we have a number and a variable. And it is read as a product of 2 and a. Since this is a product of a number and a variable, then it is also considered as a monomial. Another, 8xy, or the product of 8x and y. So from the definition, it can be one or more variables. Which means that even if there are two variables in here, it is still considered as monomial. Another, the product of 7, A, B, and C. As you observe, there are three variables. But again, from the definition, one or more variables, as long as it is a product, then it is considered as monomial. So let us now illustrate binomial. Bi means two. It is an expression that has two terms and it is connected by a plus or minus sign. For example, 2a minus 9. As you observe, we have here 2a as the first term and 9 as the second term. And it is connected by a minus sign and therefore this is considered as binomial another negative 4m plus 3n negative 4m is the first term 3n is the second term and it is connected by a plus or addition since we have here two terms then it is considered as binomial. Another, 6xy minus 3. So we have 6xy as the first term and 3 as the second term connected by minus sign. Which means to say that it is a binomial. Let us illustrate trinomial. Tri means three. It is an expression that has three terms and it is connected by a plus or a minus sign. So in here, there will be three terms. Say we have x squared plus 4x minus 2. x squared is the first term. 4x is the second term. And 2 is the third term, which is connected by plus or minus sign. Since we have three terms, then it is considered as trinomial. Another, 4a plus 2b minus 7. 4a is the first term, 2b is the second term, and 7 is the third term, which means that this is an example of a trinomial. However, it is not always plus or minus. 
it can also be like this. Say we have 7x squared minus 4x minus 2. As you observe, we have here a minus sign and another minus sign. But as long as it has three terms, then it is considered as trinomial. Another, say we have negative 9x plus 4y plus 8. So as you observe, we have here plus sign and another plus sign. But since we have three terms, then it is still considered as trinomial. So do not be confused that it is only plus or minus. Another, multinomial. Multi means many. It is an expression that has more than three terms and it is connected by a plus or a minus sign. Say we have 10x to the 6th power plus 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 1. 10x raised to the 6th power is the first term. 4x cubed is the second term. And 2x squared is the third term. And 1 is the fourth term. Since this is more than 3, then it is considered as multinomial. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.